Howdy, Banjo Ben here at BanjoBenClark.com. This is your home for videos and tabs for learning guitar, banjo, and mandolin. I almost said banjo lin, which I think that's an actual instrument. Anyway, today we are looking at the introduction to playing backup banjo, which to many of you seems like some kind of huge mystery. And I have to admit that it seemed like somewhat of a mystery to me for a long time, but once I got the basic theory behind what we're wanting to do, it really wasn't that difficult. Now, I don't have a lot of time here to explain that basic theory, but you're in luck because I've already created a video that explains a lot of the basic theory that you're gonna to need to know to keep up with this lesson. I've uploaded it to YouTube, so I invite you to watch that first. If you haven't watched this one, you can do that by clicking here. Look at this technology. Isn't that something? So go check that out. It's going to explain um, all there is to know about scales, major scale. And we're going to be building directly off of that into this uh, series. Now that you're back, I assume that you're an expert in finding your major scale on the banjo fretboard. If I were to say play me an F sharp major scale right now, you ought to be able to find an F sharp and then play a major scale which is good stuff, all right, good stuff. If you're watching this here on my YouTube channel, I would like to invite you once again to please subscribe so that you're notified when these videos come out. Second of all, if you're not a member, a Gold Pick member over on BanjoBenClark.com, I invite you to do that. By becoming a Gold Pick member, you're gonna have access to these 30 and 40 minute HD quality video lesson series that I upload each and every week. And we have a lot of great new goodies coming to BanjoBenClark.com. So I invite you to go over there and check it out. To start playing backup banjo, we really need to know about chords. And some of you may say, what is the chord? Or you may be able to play a chord on the guitar, but really, do you know what a chord is? A chord is defined as a group of notes from the scale, all played together at the same time. Now there's all different kinds of chords, just like there's all different kinds of scales. But as we talked about in the earlier video, we are concentrating on our major scale. So let's concentrate on our major chords for right now. And let's talk about what a major chord is. A major chord consists of three notes. So let's continue to talk about the key of G. We have our G major scale. Or like in the video before we played it like this. That is made up of seven tones before you reach the root tone again. Now, if we have those seven tones lined up, G all the way back through the next octave of G, we are going to take our first, our third, and our fifth tones, and we're going to play all of those three tones together, and that will create a major chord, the G major chord. Now, it just so happens that our banjo is tuned to G major open tuning, meaning that if it's tuned correctly and we don't play anything with our left hand, but with our right hand, we strum through the strings, we will hear a major G chord. Now you may say, I thought you said that a major chord has three notes in it, and obviously the banjo has five strings, so that's a five note chord. Well, you're technically right, it is a five note chord. However, it's still only playing those three notes that we talked about, the first, the third, and the fifth tone of the major scale, G, B, and D. It's just that we're repeating some of them. Let's look at how our banjo is tuned. Here's the low D string. So that's our fifth tone of the G major scale, right? Next is a G note, G string. That's our root of the scale. Then we have our B. That's our third tone of the scale. Then we have a D string. It's one octave up from this low D string, you hear that? So we're going to play our fifth tone of the scale again. And then up here, we have our high G string, which is again an octave above our original root there. So we have two Gs, two Ds, and a B. That's three different notes, though we're playing two of them in a couple different octaves. However, it's still just three notes. Now there's only also three major patterns that we need to know with our left hand to play every major scale there is. That's pretty easy, huh? It's easier than guitar. 
And the first one we're playing is going to be very, very easy because it's already being played for us. You remember how I said that when we strum through our open banjo strings that we play an open G major chord, if we're tuned correctly? And that's because this nut, this little piece up here, some is made out of bone or plastic or ivory, that is holding the strings up off the fretboard. And essentially, I think of that as like a finger holding it there. If we want to play another major chord, all we'd have to do is move this finger anywhere on the banjo fretboard and we can find another major chord. A lot of you probably figured that out not long after picking up the banjo. She'll be coming round mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round mountain. She'll be coming round mountain. She'll be coming round mountain, mountain when she comes. See how that is? So that is our first corporate position, but we also have two more that we need to learn in order to correctly play our backup. Let's dive into the second chord position now. <laughs> 